I'm Mitch with Compass Tools and I'm going to show you how to customize your ArcPad toolbar. Why would you bother customizing your ArcPad toolbar? Well, ArcPad has five main toolbars with more tools below them and even the drop downs have drop downs so to a new user ArcPad can be very intimidating but uh, this video will show you it's very easy to get rid of the tools that you don't use and make a much more friendly user interface so let's go ahead and do this step one is ArcPad does need to be installed on a, a desktop computer or a laptop uh, this is ArcPad 10 Service Pack 4 gonna go ahead and fire it up um, and we'll say choose a map to open and then click the red X we don't need a map open I'm going to resize this. So to customize your toolbar in ArcPad 10 Service Pack 4, there's a little secret menu over here. And on a desktop computer, you'll have the option for design mode. Uh, you won't have this on a Windows mobile based device like a Trimble GPS, but it is on the desktop. If you have an older version of ArcPad 10 before Service Pack 4, uh, you might look under Start and All Programs, ArcGIS and ArcPad. The older versions had a, a toolbar builder, but now it's under Design Mode. So we'll go ahead and click Design Mode. The ArcPad symbol will turn pink. Then we can right click anywhere in the gray space and say Customize Toolbars. And from here it's very easy. Um, ArcPad.apx, that is the actual file that makes your toolbar. It's stored on your computer. So what we do is customize this one here and then replace the one on like a Trimble GPS and all of a sudden you'll have a custom toolbar. So uh, you can pick through each of these and remove a couple of tools or if you're in a hurry uh, you can remove these main tools. So we'll get rid of this and I'm just clicking on them and clicking here and it's removing them from my toolbar. So we're already a lot more streamlined and if you're just going out collecting points, lines, and areas with GPS uh, this might be good enough. I'm going to go into the drawing tools. You will need the start stop editing. Um, if you're collecting new data you don't even need this select feature so we can get rid of that. And if you're, if you're editing data with GPS, you never use the straight line. So I'm going to get rid of that. You never use the freehand line. These uh, capture rectangles, that's for drawing on the screen. But really, if you're using GPS, you just want capture point, capture polyline, capture polygon. And we could get rid of a lot of the rest of these. So I'm just clicking on them and removing them. Alright, they're gone. So we're going to be able to select a layer, select the geometry type, and tap on the If they don't know how to edit features or offset features, we can go ahead and remove these. So this is a really a very friendly, clean toolbar. I like it, so I will say OK. It has to restart the ArcPad on my desktop. And I, I'll go ahead and open a map, just one of the Esri uh, defaults that they give you. But now you can see it is a lot more user friendly. The user can just pick a layer, a geometry type, and start capturing with GPS. So uh, this is only on my desktop now. So I'll go ahead and exit ArcPad. And I will hook up a Trimble GPS through a USB and then we'll go look at where ArcPad stores that toolbar. 
So click on your file explorer and ArcPad stores that toolbar in your My Documents. There'll be a folder called My ArcPad. Doesn't look like a folder, but this is a folder. You can open it. And ArcPad.apx, this is your custom toolbar. So I'm going to right click and I will copy this toolbar. Copy. Oh, by the way, ArcPad prefs, that's actually your settings. So if you have, let's say, like 12 identical Trimble units, you can fire up ArcPad on one, get all your settings lined out. And then you can copy this ArcPad prefs off of the one Trimble that's set up and paste it on all your other Trimbles. And that copies over all your settings. So that's just a bonus. But ArcPad.apx, that's your toolbar. To get it onto a mobile device, we've copied it, and in a second here, once my, oh it is connected, here's my Trimble. I'm going to go to pretty much the same place on my Trimble. I'm going to go to the hard, I'm going to go to the My Documents folder, and I'm going to go to the My ArcPad folder, and here's the default toolbar. This is the one with all the tools that scare the field users. We can click this and rename it with just a simple underscore and now ArcPad won't use that one because it's got the wrong name and I'm able to paste in my custom toolbar and that's it if you have 10 trimbles just paste in your custom ArcPad.apx on those 10 trimbles and fire it up using a program called my mobiler I'm able to show you the screen of my trimble I'm going to click Start and click ArcPad. And we'll see, choose a map to open. And I don't really need a map open, but just wanted to show you this is the screen they'll see on the Trimble. It's much more user friendly and uh, more straightforward. But let's say you really messed up and you need an ArcPad tool but it's not on your toolbar. That's a very easy fix in the field. We'll go ahead and exit ArcPad. All Trimble GPS devices will have a program called File Explorer. You can click, here it is on the screen here, or if you have an older Trimble you can click Start. And somewhere in here is File Explorer. It might help you. Uh, File Explorer may take you to a different directory. So you can click on this word up until it grays out. And then go to My Documents and My ArcPad. And here's your toolbar. But if your toolbar is missing uh, a tool that you really, really need, you can do two things. Here's the default. If I just change the name of this and fix the name of the default toolbar, I'll have the default tools back. Or you can just hold down on your custom toolbar and delete it. And then when you restart ArcPad, It's going to say, I can't find ArcPad.apx. So if, Arc if ArcPad can't find ArcPad.apx, um, it's just going to create you the new default one. No problem. So you can actually be very fearless creating your own custom toolbars. Because worse comes to worse, uh, you delete or rename your custom toolbar, and ArcPad will give you back the default tools. So we'll say choose a map to open, click the X, and we have all our tools back. So uh, really there's there's nothing to lose with trying to customize your toolbar because there's a, a super easy fix. So just a quick review. We fired up ArcPad on our desktop computer. We went into design mode, right clicked and customized. ArcPad.apx is your toolbar, 
so you can drag tools off by clicking on them and moving them off saying OK and what that does that saves arcpad.apx to your my documents my arcpad folder you copy that and go to your handheld unit and go to pretty much the same folder my documents my arcpad and replace the default one with your custom one and you're good to go so that's it for this recording thank you for watching uh, if you have questions you can email support at compasstoolsinc.com or for more inform information please visit compasstoolsinc.com